There we go. I need to test the stream again soon. Hold on. I need to change the stream info. Everything. Uh, it's so scuffed. Okay. Um. Hello, GPU. Learning WGPU doing UI. All right, there we go. Holy shit. I forgot to change the stream title and everything. Also, hello. Hello, SDev. Thank you for popping in. <laughs> oh my god. I feel... Okay. I can't believe that I forgot to change the... Like, OBS... Um... Profile. And because of that, you know, because on my OBS, um, I see the stream info. I completely forgot to change the stream info. Damn. Anyway, let me check once more that everything works. Yep, everything is fine. That's good. <gasps> but yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I meant to test the chat. Damn, okay, Twitch hates me. Um, I'm not on a good VPN server or something. Twitch doesn't let me chat in my own channel. But, that's fine. Hopefully I don't need to type anything in chat. Uh, yep, yeah, anyway. So, what I have been up to... Uh... Um, 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 um. So there's the... Hold on. We have the previous version of Build Sprint. Which is, um... Build Sprint 3. I can show you around real fast. Once this loads... Yeah, I've had it on... Uh, all the time. Right? So... Yeah. There's this, there are some um, VPN servers that Twitch doesn't like. Like, if I re-rolled and I got, like, this bot 101 instead, usually that works. But, you know, I forgot to check everything before the stream. I have not streamed in two months. Or I could just turn the VPN off, but I would need to restart the stream for that as well. Uh, let me see. But yeah. We have the previous version, which is, you know, works decent. Um, rendering is a bit, you know, I mean, we're using triangles, the lighting is working. There are no, like, major performance issues or anything. Um, but one time, yeah, true. I could have opened OBS with split tunnel. That's true. That's true. Um, yeah. But one time, I was, um, oh, yeah, no, uh, if I wanted to send chat messages, then I could, yeah, I just need to open some chat client with the tunneling, but eh, I can speak, smile. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so, um, where was I? Yeah, so I was just coding this, right? I think it was when I was, uh, making like a TP command for something. Oh, it's related to the replays. I just want to do a replay. Uh, I, I mean, I can just show you. Uh, forward, test. Let's just make it easy. Uh, it didn't give me a message, but I assume that it's going to work. Damn. Apparently it's in a broken state. But anyway. I could replay the inputs and everything would work. It would be fine. It would be nice. But there were some desync issues, which shouldn't happen because the physics should be deterministic. But I discovered that there were some, um, like offset when I started the replay. Like I would start a bit higher up. And that was because, that was maybe because uh, when I TP, um, let me do this. And when I do this, I actually go a bit higher. Because if I went to the exact coordinate, and then I converted it to the 
physics is the what I say. There's some float to int conversions, right? And it doesn't happen perfectly, and then I would just fall through the floor. And then, you know, I have to have a little offset, and now the offset is causing issues. And I just had a moment where I'm like, fuck it. You know, I actually do not want to do this. It's just not fun. Not fun to work on this. Um, because of those kinds of issues. Uh, so I decided uh, to go with WGPU and just, you know, not use an engine. And that's where we are currently. And, you know, I can, I have some code to make some buttons here and I can hover over them. There's no functionality for clicking yet. Um, you know, reason, the window, whatever, you know, next thing. But yep, 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 yep. And it should also work on the web. Uh, last time I tested it doesn't work, but it's because some some browser shenanigans is like, oh, I'm slightly unhappy because you did something slightly incorrectly. Um, it's like I can set up the HTTP server and then open it on my browser and there's some cross-origin policy stuff that it complains about and I'm like, eh, I'll figure it out later. You know, it's not about the code that I'm generating, it's just refusing to load it in the first place. Um, but yeah. And, uh, yeah, hold on. Also, I do want to say, okay, anyway, uh, oh, this is nice. Uh, oh, where do we have, yeah, so this is the, this is the tutorial that I'm using. Learn WGPU, would highly recommend. Um, pretty easy to follow, and if you look at my code, you will see the, <laughs> you will see these scattered across. It's almost like I copy-pasted things. It's almost like that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I did have to fix some stuff because, um, I decided to go with newer versions of the packages for no reason, really. But, um, it was, I don't know, I like to think that it was some amount of, like, it required me to learn a bit more because I need to fix some errors. Oh, but yeah. Boom, 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 boom. But have you used WGPU yourself before? Or have you just been thinking about using it? Because I know for a while, uh, I was in the camp of like, oh, I want to use this someday, but oh, it seems like a lot of effort. And what it just, what it took for me to start actually using WGPU was to just <laughs> how to say become disappointed in my current tech stack. I guess that would be a, like a fancy way of saying it. I basically I just got frustrated with what I was with what I was doing before, and that was the push that I needed to go here. And you know who knows? Maybe I'll get something good done with this, or maybe um. Maybe I'll return to Godot or something. Who knows? And so far, the only thing that I don't like... Here, or... I have to... I have to put everything into this state struct. Because it can be passed between, like... Uh, the event loop, and then the, like, rendering. And... For some reason, what I had in my mind was basically just that I could in this function just define variables and then use them in the loop, but they have to be in the struct. It's like, you know, a slight thing where I'm like, this is not exactly the, the way that I would want it to be, but um, that's fine. I'll cope. I will cope. Yeah, but here's also relating to web support stuff. I love um, 
the FGF, I guess. I would say that. <clears throat> this makes it really easy to do stuff like this. Uh, because I have noticed if I don't have the present mode as immediate, there's a noticeable delay on the cursor. Right? Like if I move my mouse, then there's a noticeable delay. And of course, the easiest fix is to just not hide the OS cursor. But I don't know, I just want to do this. <laughs> so I'm doing it. Uh, uh, oh. Also, where do I have? Yeah, I'm gonna make the cursor a bit bigger. Just a tiny bit. Oh, there you go. This actually has a significant increase. Yippee. And the thing that I was thinking about just before I started the stream was um, how do I want to like represent UI state? Uh, because like one thing is how do I make these bones actually clickable? Like how do I implement this logic? Um, but the thing that I was thinking that I should figure out before that is what if not like how to say, if I click on a button or some other way, like decide, okay, it's time to switch to this other UI screen. How do I store like this as a thing in the code? Like, oh, this button should be here. This should be here, you know, and these ones should do this. They should do that. And I was about to make it a struct. And I could still make it a struct. It's just about... How do I construct struct? Um, yeah, basically, I was first thinking, oh, I'm just going to make like a bunch of structs and store them somewhere. But then I was like, you know, what if I, what if? I literally just have functions for each of the like menus. Right. And I guess it could be a bit better if I put this in the struct so I don't return a list of bounds. So if I make like different types of things, like let's say I add some text labels, then I can just add a field into the struct and then, yeah, it would just work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, that actually makes sense. I deleted the struct stub that I had. Let's just do that, and we do this. Oh, oh yeah, I need to just... Nice. And I guess here also I could just the UI state. And the reason that I really like putting this into a function is if I have, I mean, I can just pass in options basically and change the UI um, based on those options. I don't know if I want to do a thing where I modify the UI or if I just re-get uh, the entire UI. No, but I'm basically just gonna pick the easiest path. And what allows me to like just yeah, just do stuff easier. I'll see, we'll see. Ah, uh, this should complain now. Yeah. Um, where's the state struct? This is not, okay, there we go. <clears throat> oh, okay. I should probably just call this like UI or something instead of funds.
Mm-mm-mm. Eight, four, two, eight. What am I saying? I can't speak numbers. <laughs> right, there we go. No more errors. Let's check that it runs. It doesn't. Oh, yeah, because I'm silly. It's a to do. <laughs> Let's just make it empty. Yippee! We can still make new bonds. And we still hover over them. But now, I should be able to define new bonds. Uh, there's also... Oh wait, why not? I'm in the wrong scene. There you go, now new messages should appear in the chat overlay. Damn. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna show the chat so far, so it's not like, lost or anything. Also, shoutouts to VHC Frigid for following 14 days ago, when I have not been streaming at all. Um, but yeah. This is an Iju UI WGB backend. First of all, this sounds like a spell. EGI WGBU back in. Uh, which pretty nice. Yeah, I mean, what is it? I want to do it myself. <laughs> That's my thoughts on that. <laughs> uh, I already tested this. Yeah, I don't know. I, um, right now, I just have no, how would I say, I see no reason to use a library for UI. Or I have no reason to use a library for UI, rather. Um, first of all, I'm enjoying this process, and, I don't know, I can see there being architectural decisions that I disagree with on the UI <laughs> library, and then I will just suffer with it. It's like, eh. Eh. But, it's good to be aware of the options. Uh -uh. Have that. Let's see. Mm -mm. But also, I I just do want to say, if I had to guess where that follow came from, ah, uh, it would be from here, I think. Um. Lately, there was a Deep Rock update, and I had to like put this tag on the mod, be like, "Yo, it works in the new version." I didn't have to do anything else. I did test the mod to see that it works, but um, yeah. But I did link the stream here, so I don't know if this person who followed came from there. Maybe, maybe. But yeah. I was thinking for a while that I would put my stream link there, but I was like, I had no reason to edit the thing. And actually, I'm going to go back to that. Because oh. there is this last updated thing. I, I just didn't want to, like, ruin the mod being updated a really long time ago. <laughs> I just really liked the fact that it was like, I, it was 
it was like a year ago or something. Wait, actually, okay, I have the dates here. Yeah. It was more than a year ago that I updated the mod. So I didn't want to just, you know, put this number lower just to put my stream link here. But now that I had a uh, actually stuff to write here and stuff to do, it was like, yep, put this here. Mm -mm. Where she? Yeah, I was doing this. Okay, bonds, bonds, bonds. How do we define bonds? Oh yeah, and one thing that um, is this count this out for now? One thing that I was thinking about is uh. I might need some way of like anchoring these properly. I mean, right now they just stay in the same relative position on the screen, no matter what, like the bounce, which is fine, honestly. But I might want different behavior for some bounce. I can see that. But I would say this is like pretty good default behavior. Like I can I can live with this. And it's just um if I want some specific behavior, then I'm gonna have to think about this. But that's just how I happen to implement things. Not a grand plan. Uh please complain to me. Yeah, okay, position and size. Fair enough. I think these should be floats. We'll see. Oh, yeah, it's 2D. We're not building three-dimensional menus yet. Let's see. Oh, okay, zero, zero, it's center. <clears throat> Is minus one like the corner then? How does this work? It is, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, I just want to make buttons in each corner now, just to see if there's anything that I should change. Uh, let's put you there. You will be there, and you'll be there. I think one of the corners at least will be incorrect. Also, what are you... Oh, okay, it wants to have this be a lowercase thing. Okay, so this corner is here. This corner... <laughs> it's only one corner. That's great. Um, I think I know why. Um, because basically... Uh, here, the bond is above the screen slightly. Here it's like above and to the right, and here it's to the right, because of how, which direction, like these grow. That's great, though. Ah, uh, huh. So yeah, this is the one that works. How do I... How does the size translate to here? Like, if I want this to be exactly on the corner... Actually, also, does it change if I... No, it doesn't change if I drag the screen around.
And this is just a pure guess. Like it's there. But this is certainly not precisely at the corner. <laughs> how do we draw the bonds? I just need to look at how I draw bonds and then I can know. So I take the position and yeah. I add the width and the height to that position. And the width and the height are multiplied by like they're basically just put in the screen scale. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, I just realized I might be embarking on an impossible quest. Yeah, this is impossible. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. Good to know. Good to know that I just thought about trying to do something that's actually not possible with the current, like, stuff that I have. Like, I can't anchor anything into this corner. Or can't... I don't think I can, at least. Yeah, it disappears right here. I mean, or it goes, like, almost out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I can kind of put it into the right place, but I can't say, oh, this corner should be attached to here. I would need, like, different grow directions um, for the buns. Yeah. Is that a problem? Hmm... Not right now. I can see it being a problem in the future. But I literally just need grow directions. And that's it. And that's not that difficult to implement. Because, um... I just need, like, different... I need to pass in a thing here, which says, oh, grow to the, like... You know, how to say, like, grow to up and left or up and right, or down and right, or down and left, or grow in each direction, you know, like, equally. Or then just have, like, a float thing. It's like... I just have this. And this will just say, like, fractionally, where to put the growth or something. Those are all options. I'm not really interested in doing it right now. I'll do it when I have actually UI elements that I want to place correctly on the screen. So yeah, and also I can put it either here or that I can put it somewhere else where I actually call this thing. Like here. Like I can modify this. That's all good. <clears throat> Now I need to make the bonds clickable. How, how, how do we do this? How do we click anything? Also, I'm gonna fix this thing that it's crying about. I like it uppercase more, but... You know, 
I'll yield. Four to eight. There's a chance that I dox myself when I open GitHub desktop right now. <laughs> so let me let me hide my screen for a moment. I've been working on yeah. <laughs> I immediately go fucking jump scared by my own picture. <laughs> Cause I've been working on my DV. Uh, and this is like for more like IRL job stuff. And you know, I had to put my own picture there. And GitHub desktop opens. And the focus file is like, oh, you added this picture, by the way. <laughs> uh, that's crazy. Let me show my screen again. <laughs> but yeah, if I if I click on this, I dox myself. <laughs> well, not really dox, but leak my face. Which, to be fair, I mean, this is stupid for me to say, because it might make someone dig. If you really dug, you could find my face online. It's not that secretive. And I might stream with a face cam on at some point. But, um, that's a maybe someday. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. What do we do here? Oh, yeah. We want to make the buns clickable. Do -do 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 -do. How does life work? What do we define the bun? I'm gonna move this down to where I define all the other UI stuff. It's just a bit more convenient when I have everything in the same place. Uh, okay. How do I attach code to these? I mean, I could not, not attach code to these and just attach identifiers to these. So, I'll just have like... Some, some done like this, right? And... Then I can just see the bone ID and do whatever. Thinking, thinking, thinking. I really like this for getting the UI. I don't think this is going to change. Uh, So then we click on a button. Uh, okay, first of all, where would I even handle the click? I think that's the first thing to do. All right, so I handle hover in the render function, but I don't think I want to handle clicks in the render function necessarily. Oh, I can just handle them directly where I gather inputs. Oh. Of cursor moved. Keyboard input. I do not have 
a thing for click empathy. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hmm. Under what's called. Also, I'm gonna make this a bit bigger. Oh, that. Never mind. It's. <laughs> Okay. Oh, it is a bit bigger. My full screen. That's fair. Uh... You know, I could also just print everything. So I'm going to have some clicks here. Then I'm going to press escape. Device event. Is this? I think this is the mouse. Okay. Well, it's not prints everything. Hmm. There's not a window event at all. Are, are keyboard things window events? They are. Okay, keyboard input is a window event, but the mouse input is not a window event. Gotcha. Yeah, there's the device event. Oh, uh, oh, but there's a window event for mouse input. Okay. I think this is what I'm going to use. Fair, fair. Uh, okay. What does this call yourself? You called yourself a mouse input. So there's, I keep losing this text, because there's so much text here. There we go. We have the device ID, we don't really care about that. Uh, also, let me quickly see something. Okay, yeah, so this is how I should be ignoring these fields. Yep. Where's this 159? Okay. That's fine. Yeah, and I'll eventually also probably change these for like up to date function calls, maybe. But um, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see about that. Uh -uh. So we have mouse inputs. I think we have to put a comma here. And we'll bring this up. We don't care about the device ID. 
Uh, we do care about the state. And uh, we do care about which one this. Damn. What do you mean? Oh yeah, I have to then... Okay, fair, fair, fair. I just forgot to write. <laughs> Most likely, these need to be debug prints. Yep. Or, like, you know, debug formatting. That's fine. Here, nothing is complaining. Are we printing everything? We're not. And we go again. Seems fine. We can detect when the mouse button is pressed. And we should also know where the mouse is because we're we do be tracking it. So this is where I can just handle the mouse input. But... Uh yeah. So the only question is Do I want to handle the like UI stuff directly here, like immediately as I guess them get the mouse input. Like do I want to handle UI in here? Or do I just want to like note down for later, oh by the way, there's there was a mouse event. And then like in my fucking game logic loop or something, which I still have yet to make, I'm gonna there be like, oh let's handle the mouse. I don't know, but for now, the easiest path is to just do it immediately as I receive the event. If I have a reason to change it later, then I'll change it. But, um, I'm actively trying to not overthink, like, architectural decisions like that. I just need to make this work, right? I can always come back and, like, rewrite everything, start from scratch if I really want to. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's also print the cursor position. Just to confirm that we have it. No unknown field. What do you mean? Oh, it's this is being shadowed. Damn. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Yippee! I can see the position changing. Okay, I'm gonna... Just, you know... Go to sleep. Uh, yeah. Now I can actually... See the print without it being flushed away constantly. Yeah, nice. We can click. We know where we are clicking. And now we need to access the bonds and for button in state dot u i the buttons. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna make a convenience function real fast. 
I don't want to write this everywhere. So... And this can also just be this. And this is basically just going to be wrapper for this. I don't have XF and YF here. I have XF and YF here. <laughs> there we go. Uh, okay. One, three. Five nine eight. Yeah, I have to do your reference. That's fine. Or actually, yeah, I guess. I guess. And I will also just do this where I just directly copy there instead. Yep. And here now I can just say Let me see that. I don't know if it's any more convenient to write this. Let me think. Uh, it is. I think it is. Slightly, but it is. Yeah, the hovering seems to work still. All, all is well. In the kingdom. I don't know if I like that function name, but whatever. Let me format everything. Here. Do we know XF and YF here? We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't.
Oh yeah, I need to say state instead of self. Oh, that's good. No, cargo ruin, yeah, ruin my code. Ah. Uh... Okay, I this is confusing me when it says button and then button, but let me make that a bit more. Actually, I'll just do that. Yeah. Uh... There you go. And we should be able to, yeah, we can click on multiple. Oh, we are also licking when releasing. <clears throat> what is this? Uh, whatever, I'll just do a really dumb thing just to know the type of this. When when is event element state? I'll put these before this. I'll calculate them anyway. That's fine. Put this here. I'm going to cargo format in a second. Yep. And we need to cover release as well. I'm going to format right now. Oh, uh, okay, so this is like a shared thing between multiple things, that's fine. Let's do that, like underline. No, it's not. <laughs> Can I? Not allowed. <laughs> Let's put empty braces. <laughs> That's mildly entertaining. I don't like that this is split into multiple lines like this. I would much prefer this. Ah. Uh... Is it like that? I don't remember. I know that I have done it in a... Uh, here. Rust format skip. I don't know, I forgot the hashtag and everything. Yep, washed, washed coder, check. <laughs> Attributes and expressions are experimental, you cannot do this. All well, screw me, I guess. Will this be splattered across multiple lines?
sad, but, you know, whatever. <clears throat> well, now, we should only get print statement when we're pressing not releasing, and that is indeed what is happening currently. That's good. Uh, okay. So now we know that we click. Uh. Uh huh. Ha ha ha. So one idea that I just had for the behavior, like implementing behavior, is um. Basically, just have some information slapped on the button. So, I would have some like action here, and I would some type of action parameter, and like one action could be like, oh, like change UI screen or something. Um, but let me think. <laughs> what is the simplest way to do this? One, like, way that I think should be simple is like having a function that handles each UI screen separately. But I then somehow in this input function need to do a thing where where is the input function? Yeah. So somehow here also this is terrible. This I I I well, whatever. So somehow in this input function, I need to have a branch where, oh, if we're in the main menu, we do this. And I guess that's fine, actually. Yes. I need a variable somewhere that tells me which menu screen we're in. And then I can just have a match statement that goes to the correct thing. And, you know, I can either have the code directly here, or then I just call a function, and that will resolve the thing. Yeah. And at the end of the day, I just need to modify the state. That's not that bad. And that's not that bad. I still need to figure out how I want to, like, identify these bonds. Because currently there's just, you know, position and size. I could look at the position of the bond. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to have something else. I don't know yet exactly what, uh, but I'm going to figure it out. Right. I don't know if you can tell from the tone that I'm going in, but it, it's um time for Peglin. It is time for Peglin once again. I just check something real fast. I do need to change the category. Close to game dev gaming and change from software and game dev to Penguin. There we go. Also, I forgot completely to change my tags. Well, we're no longer using Godot. We're no longer using GDScript. We are using Rust, this is still a circus. We're not doing voxels yet. 
WGPU, I guess. That's a tag. UI is a tag. All right, done. Let me check that everything is fine. I need to, I really need to figure out um, a schedule for streaming. I could maybe do it in the mornings, maybe. Also, there's the desktop audio. I need to check the sound balance. I just realized. Or, hmm, how do I do this well? All right, I did it. <laughs> it seems fine. If the game is too loud, then tell me. You know, it is up to you. I had the volume controls, but you have the ears. There's still some achievements that I have yet to get. I kind of want to get the multi boulder achievement or the assemble one. But I can also grind the crucible at the same time. Oh. Big. That was actually like a relatively tough choice because both of those relics are really, really good early on. I've, I've checked it like three times that the category is correct. I have to do it again. I can't stop myself. I just get paranoid about it being incorrect. Alright. Good, good, good. Yeah, I'm actually really, really happy to be, like, doing the coding that I'm doing right now. It's really enjoyable. And I feel like I'm actually learning useful stuff. And I was doing that with Godot as well, but yeah. It's really enjoyable. money. If I had the other relic where post navigation money is worth more, then I would actually be griefing right now. At least potentially. If I just hit the bomb, then they're dead. And I don't have a clear path right now, I'm just gonna clear it. I'm gonna take one more hit of damage. I could just kill them. Anyway, that's fine. That was the least greedy play. I took like one kind of guaranteed hit of damage, but that also guaranteed that I wouldn't take any more than that. Two shops here. <clears throat> I do want to upgrade though. Oh, um, elite here, two chests here. I have a choice between more choice but spend money or, you know, no choice and don't spend money. I think I'll go for the no choice. Ooh, great. Good navigation. Actually, great navigation. <clears throat> Never punished for my greed. Nice.
this, collecting some money. It's not even a priority for me right now to kill these dudes. Actually, I would like to not kill them. Ah, oh, so I can collect money. Points to be important. Dude, I remember when this game... Actually, well, I don't remember playing this game when it has no coins. <clears throat> or I do. I remember the fact that this game didn't have coins when I played it back then, but I don't remember exactly what it was like. Okay, that's the full sentence. God damn. But, I don't know, it seems like such a boring concept that this game doesn't have a currency. And it did feel strange at first when they added the coins, but... Um, yeah, they're a really solid part of the game, I think. All right. Ooh, this is really good as a relic, um, but um, not as an orb, I don't think. Money generator could be nice. If I miss navigate here, I want to have coins, but I also do want to upgrade this to full. I'd rather go here. If I miss navigate here, then I'm. Oh, I can't get this chest anymore. This is just better. But I will get coins. I got two coins, enough to make my statement true. Because if I got only one coin, I wouldn't have gotten coins. I would have only gotten a coin. Damn, no bomb. No bomb. Can I hit two bombs? Yes, okay. No plant damage, that's good. And then we go here. Oh, what I would give to hit a bomb. Well, it wasn't that important, really. Okay. Coins. Nice voice break as well. <laughs> I have to drink some more water. Remember to hydrate ourselves. Nice. I don't really want to upgrade these. This honestly kills me a lot, where I don't upgrade these rocks. That's like the greediest move I do all the time. But, um, you know, gotta buy relics. Okay. Decent money. If I had the perk of, um... Like, getting more money... After navigation, or like during navigation, I would be rich right now. Decent damage. Now I need to refresh. I'm just gonna mine directly to it. Going for a rebound shot is like... You can possibly get it first try, but if you don't, um, then you're more screwed. The refresh just really happened to be in an unfortunate position. There. I'll take some damage, but that's fine. 
Oh, actually, I will take damage. Damn, one health. One health. One hit point. He lived? He lived that. That's crazy. Uh, do you want to heal? Oh, I could go for the shop. Is there a shop later on? There isn't. There are shops in the next uh, floor. So I'll save. I mean, I'll heal here and save my coins for that. This can screw me over, but it's funny if it does. Do we go for a bomb build? Okay, we're trying to go for... Two achievements that we're trying to go for. Multiballer and Assemble. I mean, I guess if we get Rambles, then we can get that. <clears throat> None of these really directly impact any of the achievements. I'll take safety net. Cookbook can screw you over. I almost immediately went to the shop automatically. Well, I did go for the shop. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? We're filibuster. Okay, super boots are quite nice. But we want to get rid of a stone. Don't have enough money for both. Yeah, this is good for fights. I could remove another orb here, but I think I want to go here instead. Also, a fun fact that I noticed the navigation for the shop depends on like what you bought like those squares that you saw they like how to say like whatever you buy a corresponding square from the navigation thing like disappears okay let's go fight i don't know if i can hit that crit and I don't want to waste the refreshes good position yet. Because that's really easy to hit. Now I'm just to go here. Get some good damage. Ooh, get some actually nice damage. And now I can hit the crits, and I can hit the refresh. Ooh. Not quite. A bit of wasted damage, but that's fine. Uh, I want to go here, so I can maybe hit the crit. No, wrong way. That's fine. If I get lucky, then I'll hit the crit. Nice. Refresh is in a bit of a bad spot. Ooh, but I'm gaming. Yes. Ah, uh, we get the crit. Yeah, having upgraded orbs is really nice. Because you can deal a lot of damage. Ooh. Oh, Orbury. It is early on still. But I don't think I want to go for it. So I could just grind that one achievement. Hmm. 
more myself. <laughs> if I could pick two at the same time. <laughs> also, this is really nice. I think I want this, actually. This is the best one. It used to give negative 15 damage to bombs, but no more. It is a bit of a better perk these days. Also, well, semi-punished my greed of trying to get more coins. Uh, okay, we didn't go here. That's good. Anyway, one more coin, one more coin. <laughs> Easy. Okay, okay. Not the worst. There's an elite here, there's an elite here. I can't get both. Doesn't really matter where I go, I might as well try to blow up all the bombs, which is really difficult without short fuse or I don't remember the name of um it was like enhanced gunpowder or something that makes the bombs activate nearby pigs. Does it matter where I go? No, it doesn't. Let's try again. Interesting. <laughs> Hello, Reducted Pilot 4. <laughs> I hope you are doing well. 4 and 7. I guess it's more damage you now. That was actually a lot more damage. Holy shit. Yeah. I am curious. Where did you find the stream? Tell me. From where have you arrived? <laughs> yeah, I'm doing pretty good as well. Um, just recently, I've been wishing that I had more energy to do stuff. You know, because I have started a, again, call it a part-time job, and it is taking up a decent amount of energy. So, I've been doing a lot less stuff on the computer. Like, you know, gaming and programming and stuff like that, and especially streaming. I went like two months without streaming, which is, um, yeah. Just didn't have the time and energy. <laughs> and I would try to work out streaming into my schedule again, but it's very likely that I will get some change happening soon anyway, again. So, uh, like, I can, like, I can put in effort make this fit into my schedule, and then in like a month, my schedule changes again. <laughs> so it's like, eh, I don't know. I almost want to just wait until things stabilize a bit. And then see where things go. Oh, okay, okay. Fair, fair. That is fair. Yeah, Piglin is a great game. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if you heard it earlier, but I talked about how um, I remember the fact that I've played this game before it had coins in it, and. When um, when the devs added the coins in, it felt a bit strange. But now, it's hard to imagine this game without currency. Yeah. And also, I guess I could just say this. Uh, usually, on the stream, like, 
when I, whenever I decide to stream. At the start, usually it's uh, game dev. In the past, I've used Godot, a open source game engine. But lately, I've been experimenting with um, not even using an engine. Just using a graphics library and bowling with that. But um, usually after like an hour or two of coding, I I just want to switch to something else. And Peglin has been a stable of something else that I switched to. Oh, okay, okay. Nice, nice. Yeah. Uh, I'm currently missing three achievements. Um. So, gotta gotta get the assemble. I might get the inner prickle this run pretty easily. Maybe we'll see how Leshy goes. Dude, I sound like a fucking speedrunner or something saying that. We'll see how Leshy goes. Bam. Yeah. We'll see how the boss goes. Um, I don't know. Assemble seems, at least to me, it has been kind of a grind so far. <laughs> I think a few times I've been like one part off from getting it. And I have the max crucible on the main character, Peglin. But I don't have it on others yet. But I'm also working towards that. Mm. I could take a lot of unnecessary damage here. I was gonna wind up with the refresh. Slowly but surely, I'll get it. Yep, I'll be really boring. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep. Oh, I forgot. I completely forgot that I have refill a buster. Yeah, mining for the refresh was definitely the right choice. Yep, yep, yep. Please orb. Oh, thank you. I don't need to upgrade anything. I will heal though. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll just have more refreshes. Ah, uh, what got me into pickling? I'm pretty sure I just saw it randomly on Steam. And I just looked at it like, hell yeah. <laughs> mm, can I target you? Still not full. Well, I'm never gonna know now. I'm not fully familiar with how the targeting with the flying enemies works. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna redirect the question back to you. How did you find Eglin? If I had to guess, it would be from, uh, like a YouTube video or something. That would be my guess. Also, my answer, I'm pretty sure that's how it happened, but, you know, I don't perfectly remember or anything. I could be wrong about that. Damn. No bomb. Actually, 
that's slightly better because I know I can get more coins. Coins, coins, coins. Let's go. We have good health. Don't need to upgrade anything. Don't need to get any orbs. Uh, get some more coin. I had a choice between the Eye of the Turtle and Navigation Inflation at the start. Ended up picking the Turtle. Let's just get rid of this guy fast. Oh, yep, we're definitely getting rid of him. If only we had overflow. <laughs> okay, I could have saved that orb for later. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, I want to get stuff stuck in the vines, like the brown balls. Oh, I killed the vine. Let's go. Yeah, it um, how to say, like Peglin is a very marketable game, is how I put it, right? It looks fun on the surface, and it also delivers on that fun, you know. So, I would say that's uh, that's nice. The game kind of just. Oh, how about I say? I was about to say that the game kind of markets itself. Would it be possible to screw up the marketing for this? Hmm. <laughs> I was trying to think, like, what makes this successful? Interesting to think about. Like, like, how little would you have to change about Peglin to still have it be fun to play, but harder to market? Also, we're gonna kill Leshy before I can get three Bramble stuck. Anyway, well, here's the first one. Let's go. Don't think I have a very high risk of losing, so I'll mine for the achievement. We'll see what happens. Just need one more. I'll deal some damage this turn. I think. This is actually really good. I'm on a really, really good like pace with this, I guess. I'll get this stuck. Just so I don't accidentally kill the boss. Then we just need to get this stuck. There we go. Yippee! And then we blow up the bomb. And kill the boss. Goodbye. Ooh, I almost want to just instantly pick this. It's always, always fun. This would be really good, actually. Oh, uh, because I have this. I wouldn't be really griefing myself that hard. It would be a lot more damage, actually. Hmm. I think I actually do get this. It's a bit more boring, but plus four is quite good. And on some 
um, arena types, kinetic meteor art can definitely grief you. Like if you're trying to slide the orb on like a you know slope surface, then uh, yep, it can just screw you. Oh, I never noticed. Look at that. It shows you the self damage that you're about to do with the orb. Like flashes a little thing here. Dude, I need to screenshot that and put that into my thing. My notes. Um Game with self damage. Show the amount of self damage the player is about to inflict on themselves on the health bar. Stolen from Peglin. Let's go. <laughs> true. True. And it has also screwed me over in like battles. Like specifically the one where you have the stones jumping to you. Oh, actually, was it that one? I don't remember. Damn. When I see the field, I'm pretty sure I'll know. But um, there's some fields where it's worse. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. stones are jumping too, and it's like the field goes like this, you know. There, it's pretty bad. Oh, uh, because you want the orb to controllably like go up on the side and just go, you know, down and hit everything. But kinetic meteorite makes it very hard to go in there. Like the orb just wants to go always middle and down and out immediately, which is not the best. I used to always pick Kinetic Meteorite, like, instantly, but then I have gone screwed at least a few times in that specific board, and I'm like, damn. <laughs> I don't want to do this no more. <laughs> Alright. Some damage, that's fine. Okay, nice. Actually, everything dies. That's good. Good, good, good. Oh, there we go. First part of the assemble. I really like Echorb. That's uh, some amount of money used, but it's fine. Two shops. Um, I almost said two elites. It's only, it's only one. <laughs> There's no shop down here. Okay, I think we just go here. I do want to check out both of the shops, uh, for some assemble parts. Um, by the way, what's your favorite orb in the game? I can say personally, my favorite is, um, Summoning Circle. Great shenanigans. Oh shit. <laughs> I thought they would get 0 0.5 multiplier for the Echorb attack, but apparently it was times 2. That's crazy. Anyway. That was an interesting fight. We'll have the heal as well, just to be safe. Oh, I guess I could have 
not healed because the shop is next. Whatever. Oh, one coin off from being able to take three relics. Anyway, assemble parts? Nope. Uh, we have quite a few orbs. We don't have a really good bomb build. Ground guard is good though. We do be picking it. But we need to save our money now. I think I'll go for the additional like question mark encounter. Because why not? Could be good. Yes, take my stone ball. Thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I have to throw this. I didn't even try to aim for the crit. That's a bit of a throw. Anyway. <clears throat> Once I had a deck where that was like purely air corpse, it was pretty funny. Because the damage would only like go higher and higher. <laughs> or rather, it's the boss like um I could always skip, so I would always use an air corp next. Short fuse would have done some stuff there. He does not want to take Bramble. Fair enough. I should be prioritizing crits way more, as is realized. I'm being really dumb. Grid is right there. Let's be a bit patient. Well, not quite. <laughs> or just... no, nah, we're not hitting the crits. Okay, we hit the crit now. Doesn't matter that much, but still good. And he shall die before he can hit me. Yep. Ah, uh, actually, I could throw here. I'm gonna hit the crit. Yep, nice. Nice, nice, nice. I'll skip the heal for now. <sighs> this is very good. I don't I don't refresh enough for this. Alright, there we go. Let's see, what do we get from the show? Give me something good. Okay. Free upgrades. I think I just no brain take this. Um good remove. Pebble. Actually, this is the highest priority. Ooh, I either remove or get a good slime. I think I get a good slime. That's actually a pretty nice combo. So every 11 that I hit gets plus 5. Hmm. 
Yep, yep, yep. Don't mind if I do. Crit is there. I wonder if I can get it. Probably not. <laughs> Grass damage, but that's fine. Crit is there. Whatever. I'll just do that. the crit? Am I blind? It's, I think it's right there. No big hopes of getting it. One sixty, nice. We have some bombs as well. Okay. Goodbye, mages, or goodbye, everyone, actually. I was mostly just concerned with getting rid of the mages. Oh, I'm having healing. Nice. Life is smiling. Nice. Assemble part, and I barely had the money for it. But I think... I have won the run. Basically, at this point. Unless I throw... I will finish the run. But true, I don't need to finish the run to get the achievements, I just realized. Anyway. But, um... Yeah. I'll just hit the crits. I missed the crit. Damn. Can I still hit it? Maybe? Please. Oh, that was so close. Right, okay. I think at least one of the mares is gonna die pretty easily. Yep. Oh, I just realized. I could get overflow on the bramble. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> That's an interesting concept. Ah, uh, all that damage. This. Nice. Everything dies. I live. <laughs> How much are we gonna do? Wait, why did everything just upgrade? Am I... Dumb? If we refresh them, it seems to upgrade everything. Hmm. Interesting. I might just be blind. Yippee! Nothing really good here. Uh, we don't have to heal for the boss. I'll also save my money. I doubt I die before the boss. I guess there's two question marks here. Two normal fights here. Uh, I think I... Question marks could be elites. And they could... Give me relics. So I kind of want to go left. <laughs> Just as planned. Oh, enhanced gunpowder. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind. No. Not quite. Anyway, if we had short fuse. 
more crit damage. All right, let's rip. Not quite. And we get 175 to everyone. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Everything dies. This is why I love Echo. I don't think I'm... Do I care about self-damage? No, I don't. Uh, next up is the boss where health actually doesn't matter. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. We just go. Do care about the money though. Give me coins. Oh, I should have deliberately taken money and misnavigate over and over. I could have farmed some coins. So I get a heal after the boss anyway. And dying here will never be about um, running out of health. Yep. I think I've repeated that point a few times. Did you know health doesn't matter here? <laughs> oh, that's some good damage. And it's not even wasted damage because I get to hit the boss with it. Yes. No crit, which is sad, but that's fine. Still over 1k. Dude, this is going surprisingly well. Am I gonna run out of time? Like, okay, I'm about to get coins, basically. I don't want to kill the boss yet. Okay, let's just get some coins. self damage just out of principle and then we get the echo orb let's go guaranteed 1k don't mind if i do actually we need the refresh now there we go I think it's over this turn. Ah, uh, yep. Goodbye, wall. Good night. Mm, let's go. For the multiball achievement. This could grief the run, but... Let's go. Okay, four boxes as the boss. Fair enough. I forgot that I have the ball already. <laughs> All 
Goals, I just realized. Yes, 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 yes. As I kind of counter, um, the downside of this by upgrading everything on the field frequently. Nice. That's actually really good. I'll deal some delft damage here. Was it even enough? Probably not. That was a bad throw. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, no damage there. That's good. And he dies. Guaranteed. No, don't care about any of these. Coin. Oh. Coin. Damn. This one run is uh, taking its time. <laughs> I think this is the first run actually I hopped on. This is immediate uh, success. If I was to upgrade, yeah, it's only those two are an option. I'm just gonna remove the pebble. Gotta not forget that I have here a smack pack. Uh, don't really have a build to use though. Ooh, free relic or shop? I have to go for the shop. I think, yeah, I want either the matru fucking multi ball orb matryoshka. I don't know how the fucking matryoshka. I need to learn how to pronounce that thing. Like this, this the orb, this but the orb, right? I want that, or then I want um, assemble parts. That's what I need for the achievements. Um, but I'm pretty sure the run is already just won. Unless I fumble the final boss. Which is possible. And it doesn't even require a fumble. I just, you know, I don't know if I will beat it by default with this build. But I'm not too worried about it. It's like I get a few good relics and um uh, it's gg anyway i want to get the refresh and i got the refresh almost didn't realize that nice get some healing Good damage. Um, yeah, we got an aqua. <laughs> oh, okay, he just died to the refresh damage. Great. Hold on. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Don't really want any of this. We go for the shop. I actually do not want to misnavigate. I will not greed. We just go straight in there. We already have a crit sector orb, right? We do. <laughs> I could remove an orb. I could remove the bramble. Honestly, that's pretty good damage, though. I don't need to remove it. I could upgrade more, sure. I don't think I need the refresh reload thing. I would rather just save my coins. And actually, is it worth it to upgrade this? 
I think I should upgrade it just with overflow. Please, yes, go down there. Uh, we will not go there, but that's fine. Oh, you might go there? We well, didn't go there. Rip. But this damage is purely from the upgrades that we just planted. That's great. Let's make you bamble. I'm not gonna hit the refresh just yet. Sure, I'll hit it now. Everything takes 200. That's fine. Could have been better. Honestly, gonna through. Oh, if I only would get an Egg Orb next. I did get an Echo Orb next, but I didn't realize that they're gonna all just die. <laughs> oh, whatever. Ah, uh, that's decent. I need to refresh. Doesn't refresh. <laughs> it doesn't crit either. What's all self damage? I might actually die here if I'm not careful, I just realized. I'm throwing. I need to refresh. I could hit that. But this also has to crit here. Hmm. These spin at the same speed. Yeah, I think I just get this. Oh, do we hit the crit? Please. Yes. Okay. I think it's gonna throw now, so I reload so I avoid the damage. Oh, you show the damage. Good, 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 good. good. Okay, good. Honestly, I threw. That could have been worse. I didn't realize how fast the damage, like, starts stacking up on this guy. I kind of need to heal. Oh, yeah, I was going to upgrade this. Oh, uh, this is... This should be an instant pick. Let's see the others, though. Yeah, no. Actually, ooh, everything is a crit. Nah, I think I just heal. I go with the boring route. I wanna hit this bomb. I don't even know why. Where we go? Where do I wanna go? But there's a shop here, definitely this way. The ass plan. <laughs> Just this plan. Never punished, by the way. Not too greedy. I also completely forgot that I have two discards. Actually, completely forgot that. Well, well, well.
I kind of love this enemy, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why. It's just so funny seeing this number climb up so high and then doing like 5 damage. Damn, that was a bad throw. Still taking concerning amounts of damage. Okay, and they just died. Good, 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 good. I think it was from the refreshes. Uh, I will upgrade you, I will heal. Da da da. We just go to the side. Oh, I can heal even the post-battle mitigation? Let's go. Yeah. Right, they're about to experience pain. Discard, discard, uh, let's go. Mm -mm -mm. 725 to everyone. Yippee. And I can use my air corb again. Yeah, let's go. That was really satisfying. I don't need to heal, but I will heal. Assemble dreams kinda gone. You know, multiple achievement dreams kinda gone. But you know. That's life sometimes. Okay, I can still get to the correct side. I just griefed a bit. And I'm not gonna get this elite here. I don't want this actually. I don't actually. Let me think. With the boss, it is good. This has screwed me before. Um, I haven't taken this into account in my calculations, and basically, I have not gotten the benefit of the round guard. I could get an extra relic. <laughs> I didn't get it, but I did navigate the correct way. No greed, by the way. Start with an air corp? Sure. We just have to hit a crit. Smile. We just have to hit a crit. Damn, not quite. Still dealt some chip damage. Oh yeah, I gotta not forget, they will not get an extra turn when I reload. So this is how that relic screws you over, right? If I reload now, they're not gonna move. So I just need to kill uh, on this turn. Or then I reload and hope that I get a better orb for that. Okay, a corb, they will die. Good. Carry some self damage, that's fine. Guda guda guda. No assemble parts, so sad.
It's so sad. Shame. Oh, will this die immediately? I kind of want to bramble and deal damage to the others that way. I guess not. Oh, but this is overflow! I'm happy now. Now they all die. I love this game. Even though it's easy, at least on these uh, crucible levels, it's still nice. And if I want to get something challenging, then I can just go play Rocket League. <laughs> Almost full health as well. Neat. Full health. Neat. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I want the overflow. Only 200? Oh, I didn't hit a crit. I go careless. I'm very unlikely to hit the crit. So let's go with this. Okay, I don't think the crit would have mattered, but I still wanted to hit it. Just funny number. I don't think it really matters what I do at this point. Just speed this up. There we go. Self damage, that's fine. Another crit sector. I don't have a use for that. <laughs> if I get the gambler. I'll I'll donate all my money. Okay, I didn't get him. These right. damage. Nothing too crazy. Oh, one of them died. Good. It also, I swear, it it doesn't tell me the damage here actually. Or sometimes it tells it. Sometimes it doesn't. Hmm. Interesting. But also, like when it's the second one on the line or something, I swear earlier in the stream it told me that number. Unless I'm going crazy. Uh, Blast Sector? I don't think I have that yet. Uh, yep. Don't mind if I do. And now we just cope that the shop has every remaining part. Smile. I don't even remember how many parts it has. Well, uh, definitely the shop does not have all the parts. I can say that much. Attacks all enemies, that's pretty good. Bad cheese is pretty good for this boss. I'll get the refresh perspective. 
Extra coins don't really matter. Additional bombs, sure. Mm, don't want to remove anything. Not really. Maybe this is the worst. Actually, let me think. So I use an orb. Let's say I use the Ek orb, and then I get a new set of orbs. I do want to remove one. Don't remove that for this. I think I want to remove this. I'm cooking. Yes. Okay. I think I have a pretty solid strategy now for winning. I need to hit this crit. I'm in no rush. I will hit it guaranteed. And you will see my strategy unfold. We get some decent damage. Oh, do I just win turn one? <laughs> okay, not quite. Almost. Well, anyway, the start didn't matter because I just win right now. But basically, if I go bad damage, I could just uh, discard and use the air corp again. So, um, I would always just keep building up my damage. It would be at minimum the damage of the previous one, the previous throw. Oh, I didn't even get to fire my air corp. Damn. <laughs> well, GG. Yeah, I didn't unlock anything. That's fine. We win. Didn't quite get to upgrade the assemble. Whoa! I think uh, that's it. Thank you, thank you. I think I will head out and like go eat, maybe like even walk outside or something. And, um, I'll need to con I'll maybe continue programming off stream or then I'll, um, start working on some other stuff. Like my CV. Okay. Thank you for hanging out. Um, I don't have a schedule right now, but you can check, uh, neuropedy.com slash stream slash schedule. Um, to see if I have a schedule, you know, if and also these, uh, voters go on YouTube, neuropedia.com slash stream slash archive. And yeah, have a good one. You remember to follow if you want. Um, yeah, <laughs> see you later. Have a good rest of your day. Wow.